Yeah. Well, uh, we talk about our team, talk a little bit about them. Uh, they're a really good basketball team. Uh, we knew coming in this thing, they're, they're hard to defend. Uh, they got a bunch of shooters out there. Like I said, there's nobody in the league that had one player that's made 40 plus threes. They have two of them in that lineup. Uh, and they're really difficult to guard and all that movement and really good point guard out there and getting that lane, but uh, coach does a great job with them. But I thought our guys, after that first 10 minutes, um, it wasn't just coming out of the locker room where it changed. It changed at 10 minute mark for us. You know, we played a lot of zone, you know, that first half at about 10 minute mark. I think they were up, I don't know, 12 or 13. I know they'd made five threes the first 10 minutes of the game. And I saw all those I could see. So last 10 minutes of the first half, uh, they only made two threes. We started getting more stops. And that's what allowed us to get out in transition. Dave was really attacking that first half, attacking that rim. I know he had 13 at 13 that first half. And, and we just came out of the locker room and came the same way. Played man defense. In the second half, they make one three. That's the difference in the game. They have 42 points the first half on seven threes. Uh, second half, uh, they make one three and they score 24 points. I thought we were really efficient um, offensively. I thought uh, trying to get Jarius the ball more and around that rim uh, was a big factor tonight. And that's the best he's played in a while. Uh, he was most, he was very aggressive tonight, and we need somebody we can throw that ball to and around that rim. Um, you know, like I said, Dave is Dave every night. 13 and 12, second half. I don't think he scored. Didn't take a lot of shots. Probably he was just looking to set everybody up, and he set them up. And you know, every night he's got that point guard on another team. He guarded Evie's about as well as you can guard him. Cam got going, made some shots. Um, we were just really efficient, both ends. But defensively, where it started at, they scored 24 points at second half. And I don't know how many of those came in the last minute or two even. They may hit one of those threes against the last two or three minutes of the game when the game got out of hand. I zoned some. I'm, I think they may have made one three there. I don't, I don't remember where that one came from. But good team effort. Uh, got a quick turnaround Saturday afternoon now against a really good North Texas team. Um, and this will be our first Thursday, Saturday, um, having to play in this conference. Uh, so it's less probably in 36 hours. We've got to be ready to go again. Is that right? How many hours is it? Anybody good in math in here? 43. Oh, it ain't no 40. What time is it right now? Say 11 o'clock. So that'd be five, six, seven, eight hours. That'd be 40 hours. Good job, um, Zach. You learned something in high school. 40 hours, right? So quick turnaround. Very quick turnaround for us. You know, Davey played 40 minutes tonight, so hey. Uh, Coach, you know, you were talking about the defense. Um, you talked a lot about Pierre, the UMass transfer. Um, we had you earlier this week, pulled him to three points. You know, Josh said you guys wanted to chase him off the line a little bit, you know, specifically on him to limit him the way you guys did. How happy were you and what was your the biggest key was that, making him defend. We went at him early in that post. He's guarding Jairus and got two fouls on him. Came out of the locker room, second half, first play of the game, put the third one on him. And he was no, never got in the rhythm and the flow of that game. I think he was one for nine. So it was a, it was a huge stat getting him out of there. Uh, he's got the advantage out there in that perimeter because he's a guard playing that four spot. Uh, but we made him pay a little bit in that paint tonight. And that was huge for us, real huge for us. One of the biggest keys of the game. Well, Jarrett's always important. In particular, this is a team coming in here, if you guys didn't know it, was leading the league in free throws made per game, uh, which was 13 and a half per game. You know, they shot 30 against UAB in that last game. Uh, and UB shot 13. Huge difference, uh, winning and losing. So it was something we were conscious of, something we wanted to do. And I know the first half they were 
uh, only shot one. Uh, second half, he shot 10, but only 11 for the game. Uh, but we kind of doubled them up there, go 17 for 22. And, and, and just not um, shooting 22, we shot a pretty good percentage of them, you know, 77, 78%. So it's always a huge factor and a key, and particularly when you can put some fouls on some of the better players doing it. Remember, I said it really started at the 10 minute mark. 10 minute mark, the first half. We were down 12 or 13. We'd give up five threes at that point. Started right there. We played, played man from that point on. We didn't play any zone. And that was the biggest key. Uh, we cut that lead back down from whatever it was 12 or 13. What was it? 13. 13. Cut that lead back down. Started getting stops. Got out in transition. So uh, we were, we were. We kind of had it figured out there before halftime. We just came out of the halftime and continued to do what we um, started doing at that 10 minute mark. You know, offensively, these last couple games specifically, um, each game, five players, double figure scoring. Um, you know, last game, Darius wasn't one of those players. Um, how close do you feel like you guys are to kind of figuring things out, getting kind of in that rhythm offensively, or maybe reaching your potential? What do you think that potential is? Well, I mean, you know, we we think we got a good team. We like our team. There's definitely things we got to keep figuring out. Tonight was something we hadn't done in a while. Get that ball on that block. Yeah. And you know, it's it's difficult when you can't score in that paint now. And the only way we've been scoring that paint, basically, Davey driving it. You know, Josh gets it in there, some fouled. You know, Jay Mar get those lobs and dunks. But I'm talking about throwing it in there in a post-up situation where you got a chance to create a foul, draw a foul, or maybe even create an easy shot out there, people sinking on you, sinking in on you a little bit. And, you know, that's a huge thing that uh, was uh, a focus and a concentration. It's got to be something, you know, every game for us. You know, Jay Marr, that's not who he is right now. Um, you know, maybe uh, somewhere in his game, you know, not a good off season. He'll get so we can throw it to him, and he'll get him a jump hook down there. It'll be hard to defend. But that's not who we are right now. And again, he's hard to defend on those lobs and those dives. You know, even though he may not score every time, but him diving creates help, which creates um, shots for Luke and for uh, Cam because they've got to sink in there and dive. He's not. He's gonna. He's gonna. Dave's gonna figure out which guy's open there. Obviously, your team's different, their team's different. Um, I guess, what do you know about them at this point? You know, it's just, um, they're really good. We all know they, they play at a different kind of pace. Uh, they're really, really good defensively. They're going to try to slow the game down, make it a slow game, uh, get up into you defensively. Um, um, they've got a really good point guard. JC guy's really good. Bale's back, and they got some shooters. Uh, McBride and Murray and... Uh, Bale can shoot in, in their big, big guy on the insides, um, making a lot of progress. I don't know how many end up with tonight, but I think he had 13 at halftime tonight against um, uh, Marshall. So uh, they're a really, really good team. Don't beat yourself. Uh, don't try to play at a pace in here. Um, so we know it, we got our work cut out for us here Saturday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Good. Good. Thank you all.